The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, the Super Women's Champion, Sarah Banks. All these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance. I can't wait to see what unfolds. Doesn't matter if the title's on the line here tonight. This woman lives to compete under any circumstance. And from Yamaguchi, Japan, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Women's Champion, Ian Tammy My Yu! Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is an art form. The champ has said she wants to make a statement with tonight's match, and the entire division needs to take note. And this superstar has in many ways called their shot here tonight. The title is not on the line, but as we know, getting a win over the champ is a good way to get a shot at that title in the future. This superstar is betting big on themselves. We'll see if that bet pays off momentarily. And the champ will be facing off against one of the best competitors our sport has to offer. We've seen the preparation they've put in leading up to this statement-making match. If this was a title bout, there's no doubt we'd have a new champ tonight. Getting set up for something in the... This has been such a back-and-forth matchup. She looks like she's willing to do anything to end this thing. She may have to. These two have battled back and forth, thrown everything they have at one another. But what on earth is next? Steadily climbing. What could she possibly be thinking? All the way to the top! Avalanche points in Rana. It's going to take a certain kind of willpower to keep going after being taken down like that. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Made her pay for her mistake. Oh, Crossbody wipes them out. Is it enough? She breaks the count quick. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Turning the tables there. Cut off with a sweep. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. That offense taking a toll on her. She responds with a counter. She anticipated that one. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Into the arm drag. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Clearly waiting for that. Great counter. Set up. There's a shining wizard. Targeting the neck! Textbook neck breaker. Ah, snapmare takedown and a oh, right to the spine. Goodness gracious. 
You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Super kick! Gosh! Here's a sling blade. And a basement drop kick. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no. Back suplex. Back suplex on the apron. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. A oh, double stop right to the arm. Oh, driving the foot into the jaw. Oh, oh foot right in the throat. Brutal. That offense really hitting her hard. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. And she is just not giving her any room to breathe. Really taking control here. Tell him, Saxton. Coming back in the ring. She's firing up, no doubt about it. And you can put this singles match in the books. Here is your winner, Sarah Bates. A count out is always a tough way to lose. When a match is decided by count out, it leaves you wondering where this match could have gone. They are ready for a fight. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 462 pounds, David Flynn Lee and the Macho King. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match.
And here they come. And at a combined weight of 407 pounds. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. This is gonna be good. And at a combined weight of 462 pounds. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. Multiple teams facing off in this Tornado Tag Match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how many opponents will be targeting you. The only one on your side is your tag team partner. Compressing the neck with that kind of force can't feel good. Shoulder up 
seemed to be pretty easy. From behind, back suplex. Boy, overhand shot. Big ball. Oh, the physicality on display there. That is under a pump. Bang, brain buster. And the pin window. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Shoulders down! And they're still in this. And we have Macho King. And I think we just might see! Pop out power bomb! My goodness! Meet him at the pay window. Is this a no? No, it isn't! He kicked out! He kicked out! How is that not three? That's unnecessary. Field bleachers. <laughs> Dunn, down by the DDT. He's starting to struggle here. Well placed, he dropped in a skull. From that. These superstars' bodies must be racked with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the lever, and become the aggressor? Fends off the attack with an elbow. Tossed into the corner. And Savage didn't see that coming. Clearly has dangerous intentions in mind here, gentlemen. Er, tearing at the face. And the leg trap. Fisherman suplex. And running hurt Colorado. Here we go. My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. the pin. Big forearm. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That, and there's the cover! And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. to the patella. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chopper. Trying to find his big left hand. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. A ripping and tearing in the face. And once more, Randy is under attack. Savage doesn't want to be fighting from underneath this for the victory here. Stops the count. Big forearm. Bullet pick. Bulldog. Reversal. Can they go? We'll be looking to end things here with the Cobra Clutch. Fading. He gets there. A few seconds longer, and this match would have been over. Victory. 
Yep, that's what we call a good day at the office. One of the UK's best exports. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix World Heavyweight Champion, NJP. If you listened to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. Doesn't matter the situation, the champion always has a winning game plan. Bate calls himself the big strong boy despite his size gets the message across Bate exceeds all expectations is a much bigger threat than he may appear to be yeah Bate may be built like a cruiserweight but he balances the scales with his unorthodox in-ring style and surprising power he packs a deceptively strong punch Bate is hoping those impressive ring skills will help him get the win here in this one well there's a tough test across the ring and it's got championship gold draped all over it. Always a different kind of match when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a title holder. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar! Ah, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied! Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Bait 
cuts him off. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Countered it just in time. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Whip back into the ring. Force applied to every inch. He could do it here. And he powers out. Close call. That was almost lights out. Tyler Bate, a young competitor who has already accomplished so much, does that make him harder to defeat? It absolutely does, Cole. Bate has the confidence and stamina of youth. He's taken much bigger superstars to the limit, but the longer the match goes, even he starts to run out of steam. If you want to beat him, you have to be ready to outlast him. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Oh, right in there. That holds back Bates' attack. Getting him into the corner. Ooh, what an uppercut. Sorry. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. And a reversal by Tyler Bates. Punishing the leg. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Bam. Ooh, merciless looking blow. How's that for a counter? Uh-oh. Cover, cover. I don't think there's any level. Uh, rotates out and gets the cover. Almost two and a half. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Go. Great display of strength with the suplex. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Driving a knee into the arm. He avoids the damage. A oh, running Hurricane Rana. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Uh-oh. Dodges. And Bates steers two there. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Right out of ringside and back to the mat. Big boot. Uh, left into a German. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Tyler Bate finds his target with that one. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Look at that insult to injury with that one. with a belly to belly. Playing possum, shoulders down. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. I am in shock. What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? Elbow throw, saying not today. He's returning fire. Went into the corner now. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. Suplex. Oh man, he has fired up. 
out now. Ooh. And this one might be headed ringside. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Side set on the top rope. From the top. Taken down. What is this superstar looking for? Legs are great by now. The arms are trapped. This won't end well. Oh, big stop. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Oh, that was a hard fought victory there. And uh, opponent's pretty hurt, I think. Certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come on, what's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac. Oh, get ready! Hulkamania is about to run wild! The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the Immortal Hogan! I have never seen someone get a crowd this riled up. Managed to unite the WWE Universe behind him. Well, Hogan's definitely winning the popularity contest. Let's see if he can win this fight. Hulk Hogan's recent dominance has been impressive, to say the least. Very few can actually stand up to his power. Would you say he runs wild on them? Michael, got a question for you. What you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? Byron Cole huh? asked you a question and you didn't answer. All right, I love this guy. And his partner from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 243 pounds, the National Wrestling Alliance World's Heavyweight Champion, Rick Flash. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good.
The champ does not want anyone making their name at his expense. He plans on fighting hard tonight. The WWE Universe just exploded! stress relievers, nothing outside of WWE. That is the secret to their success and the adoration from the WWE Universe. Well, that's just up until the WWE Universe realizes how one-dimensional this dud right here is. I'm such a pessimist. He may not be defending the championship tonight, but his pride is always on the line. Here we go, guys. And from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 205 pounds, the world champion, Jushin Thunder. Some would say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> what? That is horrible advice. There's the bell, and this tag team match is now official. Two very talented teams here, but it takes more than just that to succeed as a tandem in WWE. You have to be completely in sync to rise to the top of this division. What a throw! <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. So much damage inflicted. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. <laughs> Using the forearm to their advantage. And there is no other term for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Tag. Got the leg, it's dropping the... Uh -oh. Gets him with the counter. Uh-oh. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. From behind. Six up. Inverted DDT. Rolling next snap. Brutal. Uh-oh. Oh, able to counter. There he goes, right into the corner. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Launched with a belly to belly. Oh, for a power slam, steps down. Counter into an inverted DDT. His shoulders are down. Shoulder up before two. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Throwing it into an arm breaker. Uh 
In full control here, face first. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Tag made, fresh man in. Big time move coming up. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Setting up for something here. Oh, my God! Behind it. Able to sidestep it. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Producing a trampling. Extending their opponent's arm and a big leg drop. This match grinded him down a little. Hogan unloading on his opponent like we've seen so many times before. Clubbing Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. And Hogan continuing his charge. It's gonna be hard to stop the Hulkster here. And he isn't looking helpless anymore. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Oh, what a plex. Shoulders down, this could be it. No, kicks out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Solid punch. Talk about dismantling your opponent. There's a tag. What a forearm. Simple but effective side headlock takeover. Tremendous pressure on the head and neck. Counter. And now there's an opening. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Boom! Powerbomb! The powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be...
taking any more of those. This is how you punish your opponent. Tags him in. Float over. Oh, okay. Float over. Nice. DDT. Big forearm. He was waiting for him to make his move. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. Shit breaker. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Three. No. Good Lord. Scarily close to three. Tag me. Hulkamania running uh -oh. and Hogan gets stonewalled. He's been placed in the corner now. Ooh, there's the kick. Second row, powered by Hulk Hogan playing to the crowd now. And just eating a knee on the reversal. These superstars are going to show any quit at this point. Never say die attitude on full display. Choke slam! He deflects it right back. Into the barricade. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Ooh, getting cut down by surprise. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Hogan messing with him. Really trying to force an error. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. We almost just saw a count out. Put in a position now. Oh, here's the cover for the win. Man. Ah, celebration underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. Always a great, but well, we got another superstar. So, uh, I guess adding to the celebration, appreciation. I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right.
And here he comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Japan. Weighing in at 206 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix World Heavyweight Champion, Kong A. Bush I. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. You cannot allow Styles to convert any anger into offense. Well, we know how AJ Styles is able to feed off his emotion to earn a victory. This competitor, well, he's got to keep his emotions in check. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. I gotta say, the title has been looking good around this man's waist. They always ask whether the man makes the title or the title makes the man. In this case, it looks like a mutually beneficial relationship to me. We know he looks the part. Only question is whether he can be the part. This won't be a title match, but it is sure to be a difficult test for the champion. I think it's an understatement to say he's going to have quite the challenge on his hands facing off against AJ Styles. Yeah, there is obviously no shortage of fight in Styles, but the same goes for his in-ring ability. They don't call him the phenomenal one for nothing. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, just cranking the head. Ooh, impactful knee drop on elevation. A quick exchange of counters there. Backbreaker, face first, lethal combination. Corey, we talk a lot about how phenomenal AJ Styles is, a surefire Hall of Famer. I imagine that has to be somewhat overwhelming in terms of trying to measure up against someone like that. Absolute. The sleeper is in trouble here. Oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Drop kick. Great athleticism. No. Slate shot sent on to the outside. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Oh, he retaliates. And now thrown back into the ring. Right to the kidneys from behind. He's looking a little off balance. Come on, AJ caught him. Styles with a head of steam toward the launching. Look out! Whoa! The one-two punch of high risk, 
High reward. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Styles telling the audience now to watch him. Watch AJ get things phenomenally done. Ooh, that got turned around on Styles. Oh, launching himself in the ropes. Oh. And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. Uh oh. Turned it around into a massive bulldog, and he barely evades. <laughs> oh, turned it into a rock. AJ's power bomb position. Fighting out. Hammered away with this superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out moments ago, back in it now. He's in a little bit of trouble now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. One scouted. Great reversal. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Digging deep for a kick out. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Headlock takeover. Slowing down the pace. Tremendous pressure applied. And now Styles is under immense pressure. And you have to give him credit here for outsmarting Styles and giving himself a fighting chance. Go behind. German suplex. Nine. Saw that one coming. And full control here, face first in the turnbuckle. That holds back Styles' attack. Boom! It's very clear that the physicality of this match is taking a toll on AJ Styles. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Oh, man. AJ Styles may be wishing he was back in Japan around now. Styles will rally. Relax. And AJ still dishing out a very impactful attack. We knew AJ had this in him. We knew how effectively he can take charge. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Blast off. Won't give up. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Roman drop kick. Cover here. Oh, my God, did you see that? So close, so close. Both wrists captured and boom! Good night! What a knee! AJ's eyes are glazed over. Oh, shoulder up before three. You do not get a moniker like the phenomenal one if you just lay down and go out easily. What perseverance from Styles. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these? Styles! Oh my! Look at this! Styles! Clash! Will it pay off for Styles? What in the world? I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. 
Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. And just what else can AJ do right now? He got all of it, and it wasn't enough. Packed crowd on their toes. This is what it is all about. Able to reverse that one. Robin drop kick. Going up top. Look out. Missile drop kick. Styles taking it by surprise. That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. We are about to see something good. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds. The international champion, Rogers Rick Storm. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. comes the ultimate warrior. And his opponents, first from parts unknown, weighing in at 275 pounds, the ultimate warrior. This man is adrenaline personified. Warrior runs faster, hits faster, even wins faster. Man, my eyes can barely keep up with him. Imagine being his opponent, Corey.
Indeed, the largest superstar in the history of sports and entertainment. From Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. The immovable object of WWE. And here's the first WWE Hall of Fame inductee. There is no one more deserving of that honor. Now, ladies and gentlemen, settle in, but do so on the edge of your seat because we've got triple threat rules tonight. First superstar to get a pinfall or submission will win. There are no disqualifications. There are no countouts. And the WWE Universe has their eyes glued on this one. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Now, trampling the opposition. Dominating shoulder tackle. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Andre gets reversed. He got whipped into that corner. Ah, oh, backbreaker. Oh, the knee drop connects. Oh, what a knee strike. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Setting him up for the flatliner. And just look at the bloody mess Warrior's face is turning into. In a no disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. Flatliner. Vicious right forearm. Good timing with that reversal. Being carried around with ease. Ooh, backhanded. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Andre counters. the small of the back. Big impact to the back of the neck. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, and that's an example of Warrior's powerful force. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Placed in the corner. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Stops the attack from Warrior. Look at this. Snap suplex. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. He's taking this to the floor now. Hits him with the counter. Ultimate Warrior going absolutely off the walls now. Caught in a bad position here. Uh oh no! There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring.
He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Compromised position here. Oh, my goodness. Face first into the barricade. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. This bat is such a dangerous weapon in his hands right now. Oh, my God, a clothesline. All oh, the giant answers back. Military press. Ooh. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Colliding with a barricade. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. He may be in a bad way here. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Blows right to the body. It's two on one. Oh, what a shot to the gut and another one. Has him up for the power slam from behind into an inverted DDT. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, what a close line. Bulldog plants him. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Had the Ultimate Warrior scouted. This could be it. Feel the end of Harden. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Devastating kick. We might be close to the end. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. This one is headed outside, guys. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Holding to end it here. This is it. No, he gets the shoulder up. And you gotta think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. What's he open to find down there? Oh, an arm breaker. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. With an elbow. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. The body is starting to fail at this point. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. The ultimate warrior is going to need to draw in the strength of his warriors to stay in this. Big four. You can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. He climbs into the ring. That clubbing blows. He had it scouted. Setting him up for the flatliner. Andre letting his opponent know who's in charge. Warrior with great evasion. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. still has some fight left. Ooh, clothesline delivered. As the wrist trapped. And now a series of stomps and kicks. A knee drop. Into the ring now. Neck breaker excellently executed. 
saw that one coming. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Snake eyes. Just a dominant display. Look at this power slam. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Giant there. Yeah. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Down on the ground, getting pummeled by that hammer. He's heading back to the ring. Landing a big kick with that hammer. He thinks he has it. And Andre the Giant gets it done. the two other hungry competitors who were in this match. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages. Oh, into the ring, and here we go, and attacking him before the bell even rings. The official needs to get in there and get some control. We know there's a lot of disdain between these two men, and we're seeing it right before our very eyes, before this match even starts. Now we're official. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Well, it's blatantly obvious there is a ton of animosity between these two superstars. And not wasting any time getting this fight started. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. Oh, <laughs> that's going to sting. Using the ropes, nails the... He could pin his opponent right here. But for how much longer? He just barely. Single leg takedown of their opponent, and there it is. It's trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Oh man, he is fired up now. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And that was a precisely measured attack. Which of Cody's skills do you think will come to bear tonight? It is time away from WWE. Cody has become a next-level brawler. And honestly, that might be his best bet here. Just get down and dirty with the competition. Don't back down. Remind them he's the son of a son of a plumber. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh, the way out. Suplex. A nice shot by The Undertaker. Now one of the best strikers in the business. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, man, landing awkwardly. Will this be enough? 
He gets the shoulder up at two. This could be a tipping point in this match. Cody looking for the win. The crossroads. Crucial moment for the Undertaker. Cover. Two. On a kick out, kick out at two. The dead man still very much alive, despite taking what I can only describe as a from the top. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Victory at last after an incredible effort in this match and all after dealing with an assault earlier on. Stood up against the test and now standing tall with the victory. I got to give it up here. Great job. And here comes one of my favorites. The following champion versus champion contests is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Auckland, New Zealand, weighing in at 220 pounds. The International Wrestling Grand Prix Intercontinental Champion, The Witch Blade J. White. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion. Things are about to get good.
The champ looks ready for this match here tonight. It's hard to think of a champion who always has that look of determination. While the title might not be on the line here tonight, this still has that same big fight feel. You stole my line, Byron, but I'll allow it for 2K. Nonetheless, you're right, the champ is looking at this match with the same intensity he would if the title was on the line. But let's appreciate the fact that he has to take on a champion. I mean, the hardware speaks for itself. This is a guy you don't want to mess with. I gotta agree with you. Always a challenge when you have to prove yourself to a champion. Uh-oh. Sent down with a bulldog instead. Ow. Oh, huge big boot. He turns it around. He fends off the attack. What a counter. Probably see him double after that one. Punch lands. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. And he's able to reverse. Oh, man, drop kick. Hooked up. DDT. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Boom, right in the button. Go for the arm bar and a punishing stretch. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. A forearm all across the face. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Now a leg breaker! An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Into the final cut. And into the count. There's two! Just after two. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Denied with an elbow. Ooh. Go behind, applied, taken down, and then kicked right on the side of the face. Waist lock, able to counter, looking fighting out from the opposition. A counter answered by another. Taking their opponent all the way up with the Canadian knocking down with a DDT. Leave the nightlight on for him. It's over. He put him away. He picks up the win. Here is your winner. The assassin Will Outlaw. An impressive win for this superstar, that's for sure. He was as on top of things as he could possibly be here tonight. And look how it paid off. Snake. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Give me a heck yeah. You're going to get stunned again, Saxton. 
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! A true brawler in every sense of the word. That's what he comes out here to do. No stopping Austin when he's looking for a fight. does not look happy tonight. And his opponent from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Owens is actually lightened up a bit. Has formed a few friendships in WWE. Yeah, but you have to believe those are temporary at best because fighting is all KO knows how to do. Being a Grand Slam champion, you know Owens has accomplished it all, and he's still giving every match his all. Well, it's just the kind of guy KO is. It doesn't matter what he's accomplished in the past. It's all about his future. Kevin Owens has a sick obsession with inflicting harm on Austin and vowed this will be the last time the world sees the Texas Rattlesnake. In today's currency of attention, Owens is the top of his game, berating Stone Cold. We'll see if it's all worth it. What do you two know? KO must be admired and applauded for taking aim at WWE's greatest superstar, cementing his own legend, the legend of Owens. Tornado DDT! Talk about devastation. Here it comes. Ooh, neck breaker. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Vicious right forearm. And Stone Cold can't find a way off the blocks. But Austin is just one move from turning this around. Corey, Kevin Owens has studied Stone Cold Steve Austin. At times, Owens has emulated Austin. Is there something KO should focus on for the best chance to win? Owens needs to cut off Austin's lethal brawling abilities. The more fists fly and mud holes are stopped, the stronger the rattlesnake becomes. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Relentlessly stomping away at his opponent. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Yeah, humiliation. Owens intercepts it. Time. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Oh, Fez press and then Fez press. And Will this be enough? What? Oh, he kicked out. The end was in sight. but this one has to end in the ring. Guys, I have to admit, it's truly hard to watch when a rivalry goes from competition to something more personal and sinister. Yeah, this is not about winning or losing anymore. This is all about destroying each other, no matter the cost, no matter the casualties. Someone could get really hurt, guys.
just a step ahead. Austin with a stop! Will Stone Cold end this? Cover! It. I'm not quite sure what... what whoa, whoa, why whoa, did wait. they... It's, he's got a steel chair! No, 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 so, somebody stop this. Well, the official can't, he just went hightailing. Oh, well, there we go. Finally some help. At the last possible second. Thank goodness he was here. Yeah, that could have got ugly quickly. 